Termux is a terminal emulator for Android that provides us with a bash shell to execute different commands. We can also use different tools like Nmap, Metasploit and many others on Termux. Most ethical hacking tools are officially available for Termux to be used in Android. Many of my friends use their Android phone for hacking and pen testing. But the Termux provides us with a command line interface. Today, in this video, we are going to install the desktop of Termux in our Android. On GitHub, there are many repositories in which people have made desktops for Termux, and in this video, we are going to install one of them. If Termux is not installed in your Android, here is the installation process of installing Termux. First of all, open your web browser and navigate to this website. The link to this website is provided in the description. Now scroll down and click this button to download the latest version of Termux. After the complete download, install the Termux application in your device. After installation, open your Termux application and type the following command. This command will set up storage in your device for Termux. After that, type package update and package upgrade to fully update and upgrade your Termux. Now, your Termux is ready, you can install different tools on it. For example, for installing Nmap on Termux, type apt install Nmap. You can see that our Nmap is being installed. Now you can see that Nmap has been installed on Termux. Now let's move to our main topic and install the full-fledged desktop of Termux in Android. For installing that move to this GitHub repository by the link provided in the description, this guy has made a beautiful desktop for Termux. Now copy the link to his repository and move back to our Termux application. Now first of all we have to install git on our Termux. For that type, the command apt install git. After complete installation, type git, clone and link to the repository to clone the Termux desktop repository in your Termux application. This process will take some time. After complete cloning, type ls, and you can see a new directory here. Now move to this directory by the cd command, type cd and the directory name. After successfully changing your directory, type the following command to install the Termux desktop. Now you have to do nothing, this file will automatically install all the necessary requirements for your desktop. Now wait until it completes. Now you can see that our installation process is completed. Now it is asking me for a password. Now don't worry about this step because it is asking us for the password for the VNC server. Enter the password and remember it because we will need it when setting up VNC client. Now the installation process is completed. Now restart your Termux application. After restarting type start desktop to start VNC services. After that move to your Android Play Store and install any VNC viewer. Right now I'm installing the real VNC viewer. After that, open your VNC viewer. Now click on the plus icon in the bottom right corner of the application. Now it is asking us for the address. Now type the address 127.0.0.1 colon 5901. But in your case, it might be different. So how could you know that? When starting the VNC server in Termux, you see this line, local host colon and one written after that then you have to type the same address but if there is two after the local host then you have to type 5902 instead of 5901 now after typing the address enter the name type any name of your choice now after that click on create after that connect to the same address after that it is asking that the password is encrypted now enter the same password which you have set while setting the VNC server. Now you can see the desktop of the Termux. You can run the terminal Firefox and many other GUI applications on this desktop. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.